here's their five trials. And these are the temperatures they got for the initial final, the mass of their metal sample, and their initial temperature and final temperature. Okay, couple tricks with Excel. Trick number one. So they used 150 milliliters of water. So we know if we use 150 milliliters, how many grams is that? 150. So I can just say control C and then highlight those and hit control V. So I only have to enter the numbers once. Also a good thing to do up here is to make sure I'm showing that this is a, this is a mass, so measured in grams. It's good to put that up at the top. Then I can assume that every number underneath is given in grams. Questions about that? Okay, so next we have C of water and all of these should be the same or different. The same, so I can hit what? Control C. Control C all the way down, Control V, and it takes my numbers down for me. Also, what is the unit for C? <coughs> so we have joules per gram, and then it's degree C. So let's see if I can. Now, anyone, everyone, there, is there anyone that knows how to get that degrees sign in there? It's all plus some numbers. All two, <laughs> all two, four, eight. Yes, all two, four, eight gets you the value for C. Then, again, for my temperature, I'm putting temperature on water. So that should be in what unit? Degrees. So all two, four, eight, and then C. And then... The other thing is, I'll show you when I get to this column. You can really easily expand these columns, or relatively easily, so I'll show you that as well. So all 248. So you guys are gonna be doing a table, but you're gonna have your numbers in here. Now, somebody said to me the other day, I made a mistake. I forgot to measure the temperature, the final temperature of the metal. Did they really? Yeah. No, because the final temperature of the metal is what? The same, as water. the same as the final temperature of the water. Okay? The initial temperature of the metal is your metal when you, when it was at room temperature or when you heated it up? When you heated it up. So this we measured in grams. And your metal is probably going to be the same mass all the way through. Well, we know how our scales work at times, right? Any questions to this point, what I did in this table? Relatively easy to do. Yep. How do you the self with water? Oh, okay. So I can show you that. So if I get the subscript for water, so let's say I was just writing the word C metal. I'm just going to repeat this, right? Right now, it's just all the same. So what I do is I highlight this. And then I come up here and I highlight just the word metal. And for some reason it's freezing. Oh, they have a formula in here. Let me do it down here. Like, of course, now that I'm on video, things are screwing up. <laughs> okay, so I have... Um, I don't know what's going on with my Excel program. It's not really the type. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Okay, so I have C metal, and I'm gonna click on the cell, and I'm gonna highlight, it's still not letting me highlight. issue might be that it's not letting me type. I mean maybe you can go into another sheet and see if it types. Mm -hmm. okay.
Okay, so if I come in here, let's see if it will work now. If I highlight that word metal but not the C, then you go up to, I just click on this little